This morning we're going to be tying a Calabatus clink hammer style fly. Uh, we've got an 1167 in the vise. I've got some 6 aught black uni, although you could use gray as well. Uh, first step is going to be to tie in a tail of lemon wood duck. We'll measure that to be about roughly half that shank. Next step is going to be to tie in uh, the rib. The rib in this case is going to be gray ultra wire. However, you could also use silver or white or even olive for that matter. A lot depends on uh, what your calabatus look like. They do tend to change color throughout their range. Um, some, some people have a real tan calabatus. Some people have more of an olivey calabatus. So uh, as with most flies, match your colors accordingly. So wrap that wire down. That'll help sink that body just a little bit more down below the surface film. Uh, for the actual abdomen itself, I've taken uh, one each tan, olive, and gray ostrich hurl. Just kind of paired them together. We'll advance our thread up there, you know, past the halfway mark. I'll just take all three of those feathers at the same time. And again, like we just talked about that coloration, if your bugs are more olive, then you're going to use more olive. If they're more gray, you're going to use more gray. You can see that's pretty fluffy at the moment. Uh, once we put the rib through there and once it's wet, it won't have that same super bushy appearance. Once it's wet, it just kind of breathes. Yeah, it just breathes. Rib that. Reinforce those relatively weak feathers. Next step will be to tie in the wing. The wing is going to be gray sparkle emerger yarn. I've got two strands of that. Parachute post that. Trim that down just a bit to help get it out of the way, but we won't do the final trim until we're basically finished with the fly. Uh, quick reinforcement of that parachute post. Take some Zapagat, get it on the tip of our bodkin. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to tie in a grizzly hackle. Now we're going to tie a thorax of Calabatus, uh, UV Calabatus ice dub. If you've got a real big blanket hatch of these bugs on the surface, sometimes having one that's a little bit more sparkly than the others to help it stand out uh, may help the bugs uh, find their way into the fish's mouth. It's not a huge amount of sparkle on there, you know, and it's just a really just a little tiny area. I think definitely when the fish are tuned into these bugs uh, right on the surface, um, I think that hanging down abdomen is probably the most important part. I'll take that grizzly hackle and my pliers here. Rotating hackle pliers. It helps. <laughs> They're awesome. 
they're they are they are worth the uh, cost of admission. Those are expensive. Those Tiemco ones, but they're nice. CNF. CNF. CNF sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's a CNF design product. Really, really, really nice tools. Let's make sure our feathers in there, nice and tight. Take our whip finishing tool. Hackles all kind of smooth back in as we push it out of the way to finish off that fly. Take our scissors and create a nice little wing. And there you have a completed Calabatus clink hammer emerger. One of my favorites. Hope it's one of yours too.